Sanja's like asking a question will Sanja help you keep your smile for today and hopefully the answer is yes you guys y'all know I say it every single time I'm gonna try not to keep it long but y'all already know if it gets good I'm gonna keep on talking the golden nugget is that you have other options it may be I don't know y'all the golden nugget may be too I don't know it may be don't choose out of fear out of loneliness or out of desperation we'll, we may make it there we'll see we'll see but the point is, I'm going to tell y'all a story. We have a husky, right? We have a husky. Beautiful. Oh, he's so beautiful, y'all. We have a husky. And when we first got him, um, he was cool. You know, if it was raining, thundering, he was cool, cool. But as he got older, when it starts to rain and thunder, he would have a, a straight fit. And then it had gotten to a point to where when we would leave the house, you know, to go to work or wherever, we'll put him in his cage. And if it rained a thunder, one time he actually broke out of his cage. I don't know how he did it, but y'all, he got out. So I was like, oh my goodness, I, I, I better I better make sure that, you know, on days where it looks cloudy, it looks like it's going to rain or whatever, to let, to let him out, right, to leave the cage open. So um, we had been doing that. And so one day it was raining and thundering, right? And... Um, the cage was open and we got home. So we were thinking everything was cool. Everything was fine. Well, when I was downstairs cooking, my daughter went to get Atlas, which was weird because normally when we come home, if he hears the garage door open and close, he is zooming down the stairs to greet us and say, Hey, how y'all doing? Right. Well, this time he didn't do it, which I was thinking, okay, well, maybe he didn't do that. Maybe he just waited upstairs for them where y'all, what had to happen was Atlas, at least this is story. What had happened was Atlas was so scared because it was raining and thundering that day. He ran upstairs and ran out of desperation, out of fear. He ran into my daughter's bathroom. Her bathroom is the smallest out of all the bathrooms in the home. It's the smallest bathroom. He never goes in there. Well, he does, but he doesn't go in there all the time. Well, what happened because he was so fearful and so afraid Y'all, he ran in there, and he closed the door behind him. How he did it, maybe his tail he hit the door and closed it. But y'all, he was trapped. He was trapped in there. So by the time it was stopped raining or whatever, and it was time for him to come out, he couldn't get out. So what did Atlas decide to do? Mm -hmm. He decided he's going to try to gnaw his way out. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. So, of course, the kids came down reluctantly to say, Mama, um, Atlas, Atlas kind of was gnawing on the the molding of, on the side of the door because he wanted to get out. I was like, what? So I was I got on to Atlas, and of course the kids was like, no, you're being so mean. You're not you're not thinking about the fact that he was afraid. And I had to explain to them that I didn't get on to Atlas because of, because he was afraid, because he was fearful, or because he was desperate. I got on to him because he had other options. And he didn't choose them, y'all. He could have gone to our master bathroom. He could have gone to my son's bathroom, which is much bigger than my daughter's. He could have gone to the bathrooms downstairs. He could have gone to multiple bathrooms in the house. But uh, because he was so desperate, so afraid, and so lonely at the time, y'all, he chose to go in the smallest bathroom. And then he got trapped. I'm saying all this to say, is that for y'all, and this is for me too, that I know sometimes we feel that stuff is time sensitive. Sometimes we feel that um, things ain't going to pan out for us, so we just have to rush into stuff. And sometimes you're just afraid. And then what do we do at times when all those things, when you're lonely, when you're feeling desperate, or you're feeling like time's going to run out on you? And I told y'all, time never runs out. Action does, which means if you stop working towards what it is that you want, then yeah, it's going to seem like forever. Why? Because you ain't putting in the work. But y'all, the point is that when you're in those situations, when you're at your, at your place where you're so emotional and you, you're not thinking straight, or you're so lonely and you're not thinking straight and you're so um, fearful, you will end up choosing 
the wrong thing. Some of you guys have just got out of college. Some of you guys are just looking and, and looking for a job. And there's a particular job that you want. There's a particular thing that you want to do. And you know where it is, where you want to go to work. But because it's taking a little, little longer, a little, just a little bit longer. Remember I told you about being patient? You decide you want to jump into something that, that comes right away. And you end up taking the, the, the next best thing and being unhappy at that job. Or in relationships. Instead of you being patient and waiting on the right, just one, the one that's just right for you, you decide to get old Billy Boy that comes on by. That look, he looks like he looks like he's pretty good. He's talking a good game, but he's not the right one. So you end up jumping into something, and then you end up feeling like Atlas trap, and you go. Yeah. <laughs> You may have to gnaw yourself out of that relationship. I don't want y'all doing that. Don't do things out of loneliness. Don't do things out of desperation. Don't do things out of high emotions. Don't do things out of fear. Trust me, when you find yourself in all those categories and you need to make a decision, what you need to do, or what you, and I'm telling you what I do. I'm, I'm not telling you to do something that I don't do. You need to go in a room, a room that makes you feel calm. If it's your bathroom or your bedroom or a closet, go in there, sit down, either meditate or pray. But you have to center yourself and say, okay, God, what is it that I'm supposed to do? And if you don't hear anything or don't get any solution right then and there, just calm yourself. And I'll tell you something, a, re a rebooter, something that will reboot you. If you can't think of, can't think of the options or if you can't see the options clearly, a great rebooter for you is, <laughs> is going to sleep. Take a nap because when you go to sleep, your mind can rest it can rest, you guys. And when you wake up, you'll get an idea. Because sometimes you can be so flustered out of desperation, out of fear, out of lon loneliness, out of high emotions, to where you can't think straight. You can't even see the other great options that's there right in front of you because you're all flustered up here, you guys. So when you go and calm yourself down, whether it's through meditation, if that ain't doing it, if it's through prayer and that ain't doing it, go to sleep. Go take a nap, like my mom say. Yes, y'all acting crazy right here. It's time for y'all to go take a nap. You, y'all parents know kids get to run around acting crazy. They just cry. <laughs> you know you ain't gave them a snack. You know you ain't gave them everything, and they just just uh, just having a fit. Y'all know we say go take a nap. It's the oh, it's nap time. It's time for you to take a nap. And what happens after you take after they take a nap? They wake up. Oh, so refreshed. Now they're back to normal and they're not all emotional. They're not crying and all this crazy. So y'all, that's what sometimes you have to do. Just go to sleep. Take a nap. And when you wake up, sometimes the answer will be, it'll just come to you just like that. So y'all, I just want, want y'all to avoid being in, being trapped like Atlas was, okay? I don't want you to have to gnaw yourself out of an uh, uh, unnecessary relationship or gnaw yourself out of an uh, un unwanted job or gnaw yourself out of something, you know? Because I don't want you to think that when you, you know, when you get in a... Uh, Get in a, a, a desperate situation, sometimes people will judge. We're not worried about those people. But I told you, I disciplined. I disciplined Atlas. I had a great talking with him and got on to him to let him know that I understood that he was afraid and that he was desperate. But I told him what we're not going to have him doing is tearing up stuff around this house. He ain't going to be... He's, <laughs> He's not going to do that. So I want y'all, I don't want y'all tearing up stuff in your life. I don't want you messing up stuff in your life. So sit down, center yourself, say a prayer. Uh, if none of that works, go to sleep, take a nap, and then wake up refreshed. And you'll see that the answer will come to you much clearer and you'll be able to think more clear. Okay, y'all, I'm going to go. I'm already at 8 minutes and 30 seconds or what have you. But y'all, thanks so much for clicking on my channel. I hope you get the gist of it. I love y'all, and hopefully I talk to y'all soon. If you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mask a smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. All right, y'all. Choose the right option. Choose the right option. Pray, med meditate, or go to sleep. Y'all got it? All right, talk to y'all soon. Y'all know what's coming. Be blessed. Stay blessed. Ciao! I smile, you smile, I smile, we smile, I smile, you smile, I smile, we smile, I smile, you smile, I smile, we smile, I smile, you smile, I smile.